iOS 18.5 Beta 3 is out to developer beta testers and in this video I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this new software update. The update size on my device came in at exactly 973.1 megabytes. Along this new release we also got these new software updates that you see on the screen including two older macOS versions. The build number we have on file is 22F5053J and we actually took a couple steps in the negative direction in terms of stability. With this new release we have an updated modem firmware which is 1.60.02 to fix connectivity issues and users are reporting that they have got a new carrier update from their service provider and among the resolved stuff we have wireless issues that have been resolved including airdrop issues that users had reported. Within the news plus under the food section a couple of users reported seeing a news plus screen. When you open up the Apple Vision Pro application after updating you actually see it load and for some reason it's always taking a bit of time for me and you can see here this new special gallery app that has been updated with more new splash screens that you can see and Ted Lasso is among the newly added additions right here. Under settings and messages RCS messaging support is now supported and available in Geo Networks in India and Airtel now has access to 5G standalone under the cellular settings that you can now select but keep in mind that this uses more power. The previously added changes within the mail categories now carry over and you can see all mail is always going to protrude the corners right here to show you that this is an available column. Unfortunately in photos under the delete album when you try and view your album we still don't have the options to actually delete everything without first having to select and then delete like that so hopefully that comes back under device settings when you go to general and then device where it says Apple Care and warranty this page still has an issue where it takes a bit of time to load but now you can see Apple Care information for certain devices unlike before where this would be a blank screen users that had an issue with type to Siri now have reported that that issue has been resolved. The release notes we have for this update are pretty similar to that of beta 2. You can see Apple doesn't actually tell us much but if you're looking forward to the next update when it's going to be coming out you can expect the next beta on April 28th and then maybe an RC on May 5th and officially this update might be coming out to the public on May 12th. So if you want to keep up to date and know what's new definitely follow for more. 